you're quick. I knew you wouldn't keep me waiting. Were you following me? Yeah. Is that a problem? I followed you to the cell on a whim. Then I heard something interesting. Plus, this thing is just finding its way back to its owner. I see no wrong in that. To its owner? Are you that Lady Flora? Yes and no. Just like you, I've completely forgotten about the past. All of it. So I guess I'm not the Lady Flora you're looking for. Of course, I did some digging, but a little accident stopped me. If Camellia, the fact that I used to be the leader, maybe I shouldn't mention it to If you want to use that trinket to find the problematic matrix, then play with me. Entertain me and I'll help you. Since you handled the Thronodian, a little game of battle shouldn't be too much trouble for you, right? As a bloom bearer, I need to pick the perfect seeds for the Black Shores and give them my utmost care. All these years, I haven't met anyone intriguing. Not one person. You're my seed of fate. If I let you go so easily, all my efforts, my yearning, my hunger will not be satisfied. If you get taken or killed by somebody else, I would be very, very, very unhappy. Why? It's pure instinct. Flowers thirst for water, beasts hunger for flesh. It's nature, just like my craving for you. I want it, and I get it. That's how I live. That fleeing stellar matrix might affect the Necrostar's functioning. Worse, it could threaten the Black Shores. So? I don't care. If this island's gonna blow up, so be it. Unless, of course, it ruins my fun. <sighs> Are you angry? <laughs> Your anger is so delicious. Fight me. I can't wait to see who'll be the winner. I've been itching to get a taste of your blade. <laughs> Fantastic! Let's get started. <sighs> Wonderful. The way you fought really makes my heart race. Such power, such vitality. Ugh, oh, I wish I were the one dancing this deadly, bloody, beautiful waltz with you. I wanted to help you up. <laughs> I know. I was just overwhelmed with joy. <sighs> You're on the edge of overclocking, and you were in a medical pod before. Does this happen often? Yeah. Oh, are you worried about me? You're so sweet. I'm almost blushing. And I'm good at dancing on the edge. I won't let myself overclock that easily. But if it does happen, I'll just accept it as my fate. It's very dangerous. You know the risks, right? Of course I do. 
But once severe overclocking symptoms appear, they can't be cured, can they? And I'm happy. It's been a blast competing and taking down those tacit discords with you. That's all I need to have a good time. If one day I die from overclocking, so be it. The Black Shores will make sure there's no tacit field generated from me. I've always followed my instincts, ignored anything that didn't interest me. No regrets, even if I died now. Carpe diem! Enjoy the moment! Life is boring if you're stuck in the past or consumed by the future. Anyway, what have you found? I got a stack of damaged photos. To locate that stellar matrix, we'll need three or four items tops. The remaining frequencies. Yes, it belongs to Lady Flora. It's been almost 20 years since the last frequencies were recorded. Lake blooms represent a bloom bearer's identity. They always have one on them. These frequencies can help us track Lady Flora's last activity. She and the leader of Black Shores vanished at the same time, no longer appearing in records. Around the same time, the two cases might be connected. Oh, right. I just remembered what that strange feeling I had earlier was. When I saw you in Jinjo, it felt as if I'd seen you somewhere else before. Anyway, have you told Beatrice that we're ready? How impressive! That's fast! Please head to the modulation hall. I'll meet you there. The mutated plants have grown so large. Camellia in this timeline has severely overclocked. Black Shores here. Glad I didn't come to the wrong place. I'm Camellia. Or call me Lady Flora if you want. People from Petalfall Village like to call me that. You left in such a hurry. We didn't even get a chance to talk. I felt... off. Like I missed out on something important. So I came here alone to find you. 
How's the situation in Petalfall Village? The injured have been transferred to other nearby villages. Most of the villagers are safe and sound, thanks to your timely rescue. Most of the villagers are safe. And with the way Camellia looks now, it seems I'm in an alternate timeline again. But even if the history has changed, we still met each other. You're the Blackshore's leader, aren't you? Yes. I... I snuck in here, but please don't drive me out. I have my own forte now. I can work for you. I... don't know. Those consultants said my Rebels test showed I awakened my forte. But in the village, I didn't feel anything special. And I don't remember anything before coming to the village. Yes. Villagers said I appeared in the woods by their lake one autumn morning. That's all I remember. Didn't have anywhere else to go, so I stayed in that village. Can I stay with you here? At the Black Shores? I... I want to serve you. Make... Oh. Join us if you pass the assessment. The Black Shores welcomes those who protect the world. Great! But... I... I still don't know your name. Tell me, please. It's a beautiful name. I'll never forget it. I'm so happy, really, really happy that my vines feel so light. How strange. This is our first formal conversation, but it feels like I had heard your name before. Look, this is my forte. I quite like it. I want to shadow you. See how a strong person like you moves forward. This flower is for you. I'm looking forward to the days ahead. you. Done with the work? I've been super well behaved these past few days. You need some discipline, robot. How dare you interrupt my conversation with her? You want to know the situation in Petalfall Village? I can tell you. I was there, remember? It's been a few months since the tacit discords attacked the village. I turned into a flower tree due to overclocking and trapped those feeble creatures in an underground cave. Kuriri's recording mentioned that Camellia was found in an underground cave. Looks like this time I jumped to the right juncture. Oh, I threw them out of the village when I started transforming. They would have died if they stayed. Not many survived, but some did. They managed to hold on until you showed up and they guided you to find me. What a surprise. Thought they'd run away when I threw them out. I have no interest in those crybabies. But since they took me in for a while, I owed them a favor. <laughs> That's a cute way to put it. What? I'm speaking from my heart. I don't want to spare a glance at those weaklings. I despise weaklings, myself included. I was a sorry sap when I turned into that plant. But you saved me. You pulled me out of overclocking and brought me back to sanity. I should thank you. I don't remember.
remember anything before I arrived in that village. I don't care anyway. You're the only one who's ever made me feel so excited. So, how about making me your bloom bearer? You see, who else can keep me from causing trouble elsewhere? Right? Making me yours exactly aligns with the interests of Solaris. And as you just said, would make the world a safer place. Just so you know, when I was doing the rebel test, the staff said I'm still prone to overclocking. I may have great power now, but I might lose it or fall prey to my emotions again someday. If that day comes, then I'll embrace it as my destiny. Fate's already brought us together, and I'll pay any cost for that. It's led me to the most exquisite flower in this world. I'll give anything for it. No hesitation. Did you know? Climbing plants are obsessed with big, gorgeous trees. Clinging onto them like their life depends on it. Sucking up all the energy they can get from the sun. They're driven by an insatiable hunger to savor their beloved tree down to the last bit. One day, we'll have plenty of time together. You can definitely rigorously train me. Control myself for you, dear master. You'll abandon all memories and start over? Where are you going? <sighs> Having been there so many times, I thought I was used to overclocking. about power, about being free. And now, you're just a loser. Shut up! <laughs> How pathetic. Everything will be forgotten anyway. What is the point? What do you know? <laughs> you will never be her equal, ever. Forget and be forgotten. So what? Rover, I traveled far and wide in our time apart. Fate led me back to you every time. Once, I was a nameless traveler, passing you right by. Once, I joined the Fraxidus, and we met in battle. I may forget you again and again, but as long as I still have my instincts, I'll always gravitate towards you. And I know, 
You'll find me at the end of it all. Excellent composition. Quite the photographer, aren't you? <laughs> Have that bracelet? Good. You can keep it so a piece of me always stays with you. Since the past between us is a secret now, consider this bracelet our witness. What exactly is this bracelet? <laughs> it's an old one. It was a gift. Got it for monitoring my rebel spectrum as an overclocking warning device. But I don't really need it anymore. Told you I'll never lose control again. Except in a special situation like this. In most cases, nothing can even leave a scratch on me. I hit jackpot binding the Matrix. It was a blast. But that's all in the past now. No, I'm quite happy with things as they are right now. No need to risk opening the floodgates and winding up in another medical pod. Since Lady Flora, the past me, chose to seal away those memories, I'm fully behind my decision. As for the memories we used to share, if fate decides to reveal them, they'll resurface naturally as we continue our journey together. Plus, <laughs> does it really matter? No, it doesn't. Fate has already brought us back together. I bet we'll have more wild stories to share and more games to play. No point dwelling on the past. I'd rather live in the moment. Speaking of which, I have a question for you. Are you happy now? Having lost all memories, living a new life. Is that so? Good to know. I'm happy too. Every moment dancing with you brings me immense joy. This is where I first set foot on this island, where everything began. The stars lie beneath our feet where the Tethys system resides. Tethys records all data on Solaris, capturing countless possibilities born and fading away. But in every possible scenario, we always find each other. All paths in the stars converge towards this single end point. So, the universes where we didn't meet must have all perished. Only this one survived. If the universe were a flower, then yes. This must be the perfect world for a gardener like me.